July 15th, 2001. We also have a lily, but we don't know what color it is yet. Okay? Mm -hmm. we, we know what this is. I don't think we'll worry about this yet, do you? If we're going to change that, you can take a picture of it. But it's a wall. It's a wall. Well, two new lupins. God knows where. Okay, well, I'll put them up. A lupin? We have... You mean peony. Peony, sorry. We have a peony here, and a peony here, and a poppy here that I split from last year. We're about to run out of power. Oh, no. Yeah. And a poppy here and here. Hmm? All right, we have a Jacob's Ladder, and something that is supposed to be a really fast grower, but I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. I can't, can't remember. Um, then we have a Lobelia plant down here in front of the tree. And we got an Anita. And an Anita. Those are the ones I want to remember. Uh, we have a Fraser Sundrop. Can you get the Fraser, Fraser Sundrop up there? Mm hmm That we didn't know we had. I think the rest of the stuff up there we'll remember. Okay. Obedient plants, which aren't very obedient at this point. We have a PG Hydrangea, which is doing quite nicely. We have a poppy. We have a mauve delphinium, Fraser sundrop. This is a red daisy. It was eaten, so we've never seen it bloom, but hopefully it'll come back next year. Echinacea, a magnificent bee balm. And if we remember we've got it, we have a dahlia that we're gonna dig up and put in the garage until next year. Sebastors. Aster alpinus. <laughs> Same to you too. <laughs> Those, poppy. Those say that poppy again because I just started it. There's a poppy here. I just yeah, put okay. one here. I think that we've got echinacea and Rebecca or something here, I'm not sure. Oops. Up here we have hydrangea, which looks like it's actually going to live. We moved the... <laughs> we, we, moved, we moved the lady slippers here, although I don't know if they're doing any better. Than I got an itchy butt. And over here we now have a <laughs> vine. <laughs> Accompanying the wisteria. There you go. Which is going to be magnificent because it's going to grow all the way across here. It's Monica in the garden. In the garden. There you go. Now over here. Yeah. Look at this lily. Have yeah. you ever seen anything as pretty I'll as that? I'll just pink zoom lily? in on that. It's all black and white, so. It's a beautiful pink lily. There you go. We have another lily beside it that's not blooming yet, but you can see the hostas are doing well. And then over and here. This guy. Over here we have Bingo. a magnificent red lily. And a pointer. And a pointer. This is a diablo. Mexican guy. Yes. And in this bed, the only perennials we have are um, an aster of sorts and some kind of a, feels like a heliochrism. I don't know what it is. I can't remember. But that's the only thing. And, and a howling uh, rabbit. A howling rabbit. And of course the iris. And the, the shadow of Anita. They'll come back. And we zoom over to this magnifico pond here. Isn't okay. that pretty? Now around the pond. Walk this way. Not much power we got left here. Okay, I moved another. You got get your son off the, the yarrow there. There we go. Pretty pink yarrow there. Pretty pink yarrow, and I moved another one beside it this morning mm -hmm. that I took out of the rockery. Uh, there's tons of violets. There's vinca. There's lamium. There's irises. Irises. Um, there's some beautiful astilbes, although they're not at their best right now. They're gorgeous. And uh, marsh marigolds, uh, Canada anemones, all of that. And then we move around to That's all the of the lovely lily. lilies, day lilies that we have. Dutzia, which we won't forget, is there. Where? 
I cut it down yesterday. That's a Dutsia? Oh no, it's a Japonica. Sorry. Dutsia's out front. Yeah, I'm going to say, how do you get back here? Okay. A little bugger when you just at least expect it. They run around to the backyard. Yeah, they run around the backyard. Here we have a beautiful butterfly. I don't know if you can keep that till next year. Oops, oh, it's got just, just snapdragons. They are just as dry as a chip. Chip. It's Nina's favorite thing. <laughs> Okay, I have um, an Echinacea back there, or is that a Rudbeckia? I can't tell when they're not. Rebe it's a Black-Eyed Susan. Black-Eyed Susan, it's Rudbeckia. Okay, and I have a new red lupin here. Mm -hmm. There are Cosmos that we planted from seed, mm -hmm. which should come back next year. There's a pink daisy right beside the church. Mm -hmm. Shasta daisy right beside the house. Mm -hmm. Then we have... That looks like an obedient plant, but... Yeah, along with a dianthus. Here's a cone flower. Back there is an azalea. More of this one. Bee bomb. Bee bomb. Easter lily. Let's we'll see if that comes up again next yeah. year. Easter lily. Now, right here in this lovely little spot, there's nothing. There's something called a dead plant. A wild geranium. It's a dead plant. I think it's dead. I don't think anything is going to come, but no. we mustn't This is a there. bent over Anita. Now, back here, we have, remember I said yesterday, did we have the Liatris? Oh, yeah. Blazing star? I remember saying that. Well, we do. There you go. There it is. Those are those tall pink spikes. I hope that does something. I would like that. Oh, there's some feet. Move the <laughs> There's feet in the garden. Sweet William. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Lady Slipper. Lady Slipper. Oh, look. Flax. Wild flax. To take something for that. This is a royal catch fly that we've never seen bloom. Mm. Right now it's catching the ground. Right. This is a wood golden poppy, which is new. We haven't seen it either. Okay. White lupin. Didn't see that one coming. A who? A stilby. Okay. And then we have a fine red bee bomb, and we don't know where we got it. Okay. These are mallows. We dug those up on the side of the road. Not to be confused with the yellow mallow. It's, a pink, it's mallow. a pink mallow. This trusty little thing is called a yellow cone flower. Mm -hmm. Then we have uh, the queen of the prairie here. We have a pink phlox. We have a hollyhock an iris, and here I transplanted the um, Beautiful columbine. specimen of a columbine. And at the back I have seedlings of all sorts of echinacea, I think. Yeah. What else could they be? I put the gazebo in. Okay. Because this is where the gazebo is going to go. It's lovely. And there is a um, buddleia here. Buddleia okay. there. By the stump. This is a weed. It's a butt. Mm -hmm. Black eyed Susan. Walk this way. Do I have to? Yes. Yeah, it's a foxglove. It's a weed. Foxglove, or did you tell us? Rosemary there, in case it doesn't come back. And then around here. Oh we look, we have a Doberman. Yeah. Around What's here that we doing have. There? It's got something on its head. I think it's being eaten alive. Yeah. Around here we have Presidia. Uh huh. Coneflower. And a wilting one. Yeah. It's tougher, isn't it? Uh huh. Um, what is this? A verbenum? Ver I would have known if you didn't say anything. Viburnum. Viburnum. We're, we're watching closely. Skunk grass. Ah, oh, yeah, beauty. Beauty. The dying over there. Oh, a goldfish. Goldfish. And right here we have bridal wreath spirea. Oh wow, is that ever a goldfish? Yeah. That's... Spirea moved carefully from the front yard. Several species of iris around here. More forsythia, some soapwort. A little babbling brook. Babbling. And we have a stream too. <laughs> Pretty neat. Isn't that pretty? 
It certainly is. Oh, there's that babbling brook again. Hi, brook. Sun so we're beside the babbling brook. Beside the babbling brook. Good. And the stream. And the stream. And we have uh, black-eyed Susan. We have some daylilies that we've moved that I have no idea how come they've never bloomed and they've got something else growing in them. And there's a bunch of... Odds and sods. No, the forget-me-nots that I've planted in here. I moved uh, a poppy. I can cut this one back. That one's not looking too healthy. No, they all look like that over there. I don't know whether it's they're cut from the bottom or not. There's another good angle. They're all good angles, aren't they? Because the yard's all starting to look pretty. And in here we have oregano that's going to just fill in. I guess as far as I can go, you know why? Out of tape? No, my back can't turn any further than that. Oh, you can't move Where's your who, what, where are your what? Oregano, yeah, this is going to fill in with oregano and the other thing. Lamium. Yeah, that's it, that thing there. Okay, do you want to go up and look at the tuppy bed? Okay. And we have our little guard dog following us around. Okay, so we got, uh, what's this thing? Okay, this is a hydrangea. Right, and up above? It's a mock orange. Right, and then that's a bird and bath. And there's a, no, a tiny potentilla that uh, right. I transplant in and hoping it will save it. And then we got some bluegrass. Bluegrass. Then we have... Begonias. Begonias, spirea. Begonias aren't going to come back anyway. We have the tuppy rose and a yellow daylily. And something that I can't remember what it is. Yellow, tall. Oh, that thing. And this is a Sandra. Oh, yeah. So port. Hydrangea. Then we have a bee bomb that I put in. We've got two Veronicas, but I'm going to take one of the Veronicas out columbine so in it the won't back. be there. A what? A columbine in the, a columbine. A columbine in the back. And it's purple too. This is the... Non-blooming. Non-blooming, but will be blooming soon. Um, Black-eyed Susan. We have the Budlia. I have giant... What's this stuff called? Basil. It's happy here. Yeah, I know, but it's happy here. Remember that for next year. Yeah, that's the best place for it. Rose um, doesn't like it here. The what? Rose? Oh, I thought it was doing okay. Keep going. Okay, we have this ice plant thing. I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. Pink. Blooms later. We have a little aster of some sort. Um, a white lupin. Pink peony. Beautiful peony. Pink lupin. Climbing rose. Pink lupin. Echinacea. Echinacea. Now, carnations are a problem. Flatten carnations. We have to tie them up for next year. Okay. Need one of those things, wireframe things. Yeah, I have to stake them. Poppy. Poppy. And there you go. That's it. That's all I need for memory. 